And you can see here, this right here is my Galil ARM. This right here is covered in Duracoat. Now, if you don't know what a Duracoat finish is, Duracoat is basically an epoxy paint. And it's very simple to apply. All you have to do is mix up your paint and then just spray it on. Uh, it uses a high velocity, low pressure paint system. So you know, like your automotive paint sprayers. Nice and simple. There's nothing to it. You clean it, paint it, and in this case, you use little templates. Uh, this is more of a digi pattern. And in this case, I used a camouflage scheme because this right here was specifically designed for more of a desert climate. Now, if you're going to have a camouflage pattern, make sure that it suits your environment. Now, if you're going to be using this in something like a woodland environment, this right here would stick out like you would not believe. Now, the easiest way is to take a picture of your environment, then have someone that really knows how to use the photo software just to pixelate it really bad. So all you see is just, you know, like 16 blocks of color. Now, you take one of those, those uh, pictures and you choose the colors you want out of there. And that depends on how many color pattern you want. If you want a two color, three color, four color. Uh, in this case, I went with a three color. Now, what you would do is you would pick out, you know, your dark, your white, and then probably something in between your base coat, um, and maybe even another color you're going to throw in there just to spice things up a little bit. Now, that's the easiest way. That way, you're you're matching your environment directly. So, if you're going to be using a weapon in a specific environment, you can match it directly for that environment. If you don't know what the environment's going to be, you're probably better off not doing any kind of camouflage at all. Just go with straight black. Now, as you can see, this right here is a digi pattern. Um, this right here was uh, slightly time consuming. It didn't take too long, but at the same time, it, it's not something you're going to go ahead and rush out and do. Um, I don't fire the Galil very often, but I wanted a nice durable finish. Uh, the black that you see is just standard black parkerizing. Um, like I said, I wanted something nice and durable. The, all the Duracoat, Duracoat, once you put it on there, it's extremely hard to get it off. Uh, you spray it on, and then you wait oh, maybe an hour or two, and you can handle the parts. And at that point, you could literally put it together and shoot it, but it's not recommended. But you just let the rifle sit for two weeks. And during those two-week time frame, the enamel will harden and it, it gets rock hard. Uh, you have a hard time getting this stuff off with a sandblaster and I've used the sandblaster on this stuff and it's a pain. Now this stuff is water resistant, it is salt resistant, it, it's, a, it's a great finish. Um, it's really hard to beat and if you have a little ability to camouflage um, you can have a fine looking weapon. Uh, most people do like the looks of this one. I do. Then again, uh, I made it so I would like it.